Well, three days in the books here at the Pac-12 Championships. That is the Pike Place Market, downtown Seattle. We're a little south of there in Federal Way at the Weyerhaeuser King County Aquatic Center. And with three days down and one to go, Arizona State with a little more than a 100-point lead on Cal. And Stanford in third. Arizona is in fourth. And tonight, what a start we had. The 400 IM, and we've been looking forward to this one. Leon Marchand broke the all-time record in the 400 IM. Oh, he did, and Hugo Gonzalez was actually in lane one, who was his biggest competition, but Leon Marchand just ran away with it. He started ahead on the butterfly, and he never gave up that lead till the very end when he became a Pac-12 champion. Yeah, but again, look at the lead he had here. He won this by six seconds, including over Hugo Gonzalez of Cal, who had broke the NCAA record that last year, and there's Gonzalez, all class, celebrating the win and the new record by Leon Marchand. And then the 100 butterfly, Andre Minikov of Stanford won it for the second consecutive year. And he just started off great. Love those undulations. Hit that wall, bounced off of it, hand to the ear. And look at those dolphin kicks underwater using his whole body. And it was like every stroke at the end, he just surged more and more ahead. And of course, he's got to congratulate with his Stanford brothers. Uh, yep, they were surrounding him in lanes three and five. Then the 200 freestyle. And Grant House won it for the second consecutive year for the Sun Devils. Looking like Hulk Hogan and just laying the smack down. Look at him. Nice. Uh, just finish right there. And, of course, you got to hug everybody, everybody who helped get you there. He is just a class act, and I really enjoy watching him swim. And speaking of class acts, how about Reese Whitley winning the 100 breast for the fourth straight year, the 14th four-time winner of a single event at the Pac-12 Championships. And this is how he did it. Look at that stroke. Beautiful streamline. Round the corner, squeeze in and out. Man, that is just so great. And it's also great to be a four-time champion. Yep, and Cal went one, two, and three. Great seeing Reese Whitley grow up over the years. Then the 100 backstroke, Destin Lasko won it for the second time in three years, fifth fastest time in the country this year. And you know, he starts off a little slower than the rest of the field, but man, his back half is just something to marvel at. And look at that undulation. Watch that finish. You see what I'm talking about? Diving down, hitting the wall. All oh, that's on fire. But Destin Lasko won the title that he had last won in 2021. He finished second last year. And then finally, we have the 400 medley relay, Arizona State setting a meet record. And this is where it all happened. Leon Marchand, who is up there at the top of your screen, right in the white cap. You got right Reese Whitley right below him. Tell you what, Marchand got a lead that Arizona State never gave up. And Grant House finished it off in style. 301.39 for the Sun Devils. That is a Pac-12 championships record. Sun Devils have taken three of the first four relays. Final day coming up tomorrow as the Sun Devils looked up, wrap up their first ever Pac-12 title.